I'm Tony Villalobos and I work with uh, Mission Canine Rescue. We're basically an organization that uh, takes in retired working dogs, whether it's military, contract, police canines, and then we rehab them and then find them homes where they can live you know, their retirement life. I've been with Mission Canine Rescue going on five years. I was a handler before and they actually, after Afghanistan, they rescued me and took me in and, and gave me a job. And my job is to pair the animals with the, with the adopters. I started in the civilian world in search and rescue as a canine handler by accident. I had a dog that was tearing up my apartment, so I had to give him a purpose. And that's where I got the bug about you know, tra you know training dogs. Um, during my career, I've trained police canines. Uh, just you know, local police departments that I, that I lived in allowed me to come in and, and do some work. Um, I had an opportunity to go to Afghanistan as a contract canine handler. I was going for a year and ended up staying four. And uh, so got injured came home and, and that's when Mission Canine Rescue picked me up. And right now I do, on the side, I do uh, police canine training. Our goal is to provide a suitable home for, for these guys to retire. And um, one of the things that we're seeing with the current climate and police, um, with the media and the defunding departments and how uh, stuff like marijuana and, and, and certain drugs are being decriminalized, a lot of these dogs are no longer useful to the agency. So they're, they, they retire them. So our goal is to be able to take them in and uh, properly rehab them to be able to fit into a home environment. And then just let them live out the rest of their life just as a pet. They're not required to work. Uh, they're just required to just be a dog. One of the things that we found with Mission Canine is that all our employees are non-handlers. Um, us as handlers, I think when we deal with a working dog, we bring that, that handler vibe into it. Um, so the dog never shuts it, you know, shuts it off. They're always working. They're always, uh, when, when, they're on the, when the handler grabs the leash, the dog feels and knows that it's time to work. So what we've done, uh, something as simple as hiring just somebody with no working dog experience, just even a pet trainer or a pet handler, um, the dogs are able to turn it off and, and they're able to transition uh, from the working environment to just being a pet. You know, their expectations are just to you know, chase the ball. You know, if they want to keep it, they get to keep it. They don't have to out it until they're tired. So when the dog comes in, after we get them, let's say from an agency, mm -hmm. we medically vet them uh, to make sure that, you know, if they have arthritis or any, any medical conditions they have, they're being treated. And then we allow them to decompress at our ranch in Houston. Uh, once they decompress at our ranch, usually it takes about three weeks. At the three week mark, you know, three to four week mark, you know, that personality of the dog is pretty much there. That's who that dog is. Um, so then we, the next process is to try to find the human or the home where that dog's gonna thrive in. So for example, if we have a Malinois that even though he's retired, he's very high drive, uh, still has a lot, you know, a lot of drive into him. Mm -hmm. We might pair him up with someone that maybe with no kids or someone mm -hmm. that's very active, uh, retired law enforcement person, you know, just is looking for a buddy, you know, somebody that hikes, somebody that runs. Mm -hmm. uh, you get a shepherd that just wants to lay around. Uh, we might pair him up with an older, you know, an older person or, you know, somebody, a couple. You know, they do small walks or somebody just wants to have a dog hanging around while they're doing some gardening. Well, having the proper equipment, it's important with these guys, because even though we're trying to transition them out of the working, uh, the working phase, uh, they're still a working dog. Um, so, for example, a Malinois, you know, large Malinois, you, you know, you're not going to deal. It's not going to do good with a, you know, a leash that you buy like at Walmart or something like that. So having the proper equipment to be able to properly secure these animals or, or uh, handle them or uh, maneuver them into, uh, into the world uh, without them getting into trouble. Because if a leash snaps on one of these dogs and they go after someone playing soccer, you know, it's, it's a lot different than your chihuahua chasing a ball. So how can people help you? Uh, well, uh, they can go to our website, it's www.missioncanirescue.org. Um, everything we do is based on donations. Mm -hmm. um, a great portion of all donations goes to our mission. Uh, a small portion of it goes to admin stuff. Um, the best way is just a donation because that allows us to pick up you know, dogs from agencies, uh, reunite them with handlers, uh, transport them around the world, because that's what we do. You know, we're one of the only organizations that picks up dogs and drops off dogs all over the world. Yeah, I'm Tony Villalobos with Mission Canine Rescue. If you're looking to support a retired working dog or adopt one, you can find us at missioncanirescue.org. And that's mission, the letter K, the number nine, rescue.org.